Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me again here. My name is Keegan Edwards with Liquid, and we're going to be discussing uh, building out an e-commerce site using Shopify. So I'm going to jump back over to my development site here, Keegan's Critters, and I'm going to log in, and we'll see that we've already added a product, and we have a couple collections started in the site. I just wait for this to catch up with me here. Okay. So today we're going to be covering adding a discount. So a discount is a code that somebody can enter at checkout to actually be able to receive the discount on their product. In order to add a discount, we go into the discount section, and I haven't ever added a discount, so I'll add a discount. And right here is where we come up with a code that somebody would enter. So a code for us might be 10% off. And that the customer will enter at discount, at checkout, to get 10% off. So if I want this coupon to actually be a 10% off coupon, I'll go in here. I'll select under conditions, percentage discount. And I'll say take 10% off all orders. I can either make this unlimited, so anybody could use this anytime they shop with me for 10% off. If you do 10% off. Or I could limit the number of uses to, let's just say, one time per person. Or, better yet, two times or two times per person there. Or I could say, what well, I want to limit this to just one use tracked by the customer email, in which case I would select check this box. Now, I will go over here. If I want this to work forever, then I don't need to set an end date, and I leave this box checked for no end date. If I only want this coupon to run for the month of April, I go in here and I select April 1st as the start date, check the no end date, and select April 30th for it to run through. Select Save. Now I have a coupon. Now let's say, and, uh, and we'll see here that it's not active yet because I set it for April 1st, but it'll be here in my inactive coupons to start on April 1st. Now, if I go back to all discounts, I can create another discount code. And let's just say I want to do five off dog food. So I want to do $5 off dog food. Here's my discount code that people would enter at checkout. I select US dollars. $5 off a collection, and then I select my collection, which is dog food, and it applies to every item in the cart, and there's four only once per order. And what that means is, would I get $5 off the entire order, or would I get $5 off of every, every dog food item in the cart? So that's very important to clarify. Would it be $5 off every item of dog food, or would it be $5 off the entire cart? And that can be very different. So let's just say I want this $5 off every bag of dog food that I carry. Okay, great. It's $5 off every item in the cart. Unlimited uses, limited uses, or select one use for a customer based on their email. Again, select the dates. Let's just say I want this to run for now, forever. I save it, and now I have all of my coupons and then my active coupons, all of my coupons here, um, and then my active coupons. Here's the active coupon for $5 off. You can create more discounts here, delete, or disable these when they're over, or change the dates. And let's just, for example, say, you know what? I decided I really don't want to do this promotion, this uh, discount anymore. I can click on it and either select to disable it or trash it um, or promote it, which would mean it would allow me to share it on Facebook if I have Facebook set up with my site. But let's just say I don't want to do this discount anymore. Click delete. Are you sure? Yes. Delete it. So really easy, simple process to set them up. And then the important thing to know, this discount code 
right here is the code that actually needs to be entered at, sh at checkout to get the discount on the product. So thanks very much for joining us. That's how we do discount codes.